Hello and thanks for joining me. Now today I want to share my thoughts on a new tripod that I've been using recently. Also some thoughts on tripods in general. And I can't really do that without referring to this old girl. She's been with me for about five years and she's getting a bit long in the tooth now. It's a Cheap as Chips KNF concept tripod. Bought it through Amazon for about 60 quid and you can still get it. It's a 62 inch tripod, aluminium, and it's pretty basic. But then aren't all tripods pretty basic? And that's the thing, I don't get it. I never have got it. You see, tripods are just three sticks and all they do is make sure that your camera is at a given X, Y, Z coordinate in the space-time continuum. You know, they're, they're just there to prop it up. So I really don't get why people spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on them because I don't get how somebody else's really expensive three sticks could be better than these three sticks. And after five years of this getting me some really half decent images, I think I've been proved right. Now, of course, I understand that there is that trade-off between uh, the weight of the tripod and the rigidity of the tripod. I understand that because you don't want something that's gonna flop around in the merest of breezes. But I've seen some people out with colossal tripods that are like iron girders and, and a Force 12 wouldn't budge them. And yet they don't half moan about the weight that they're lugging up that hill. Anyway, for me, the uh, sensible entry points around about 80 to 100 quid. That'll do the job quite nicely. Now this old girl, uh, she's been through thick and thin with me. People have asked me about these bits of tape on the legs, they're not holding it together. They're just so that when I grab it in the middle of winter, I'm not grabbing cold aluminium because there's only padding on one leg. The other thing that I've done with this uh, is I've chopped off the center post because I could never get it down low enough for some of my lowest of low shots. Uh, but she's done a really good job. I uh, can't remember the exact model, but there's a link to it on my gear page on my website. However, KNF Concept got in touch with me recently and they said, would you like to review some of our gear? Now, you know, I can easily be bought. Yes, of course, I'd love to review some of your gear. What have you got in mind? And this is it. It's the uh, carbon fiber version of my trusty old aluminium one. It's a little bit more expensive. I think it retails at about 90 quid. It is the uh, KFTC2534. They don't have come up with some snappy names, these tripod manufacturers. And that's another thing about tripods, now I think about it. There are hundreds of them. There are far more tripod manufacturers with dozens of models. Um, Three-legged thing, how many models have they got? And yet, if you want to buy a camera, you've got a choice of about six manufacturers. Anyway, uh, I've been using this and I waited to do this review because it wouldn't be fair to do it without having been out in the field with it. And it's actually proved a really good little tripod. Very happy with it. Now I will be keeping the other one for emergency purposes of course, uh, but I'm really happy with this and uh, KNF Concept, as I said, they sent it to me. Uh, I haven't had to pay for it, thank you ever so much KNF Concept. However, they haven't got one arm up behind my back to say nice things about it. But it strikes me that having used one of their bits of kit for five years, I think that's I got great value for money out of it. They didn't know I'd been using it because when I wrote to them, so oh, I've got one of yours at the moment, they were quite surprised so they don't watch my channel that closely. Anyway, nevertheless, uh, so the first thing is, if you're not as uh, much of a short ass as I am, this is plenty tall enough. Uh, now, the center post. Well, as you saw, I chopped off the center post on my other one. Uh, I won't need to on this because they very kindly supply this little short blank. Um, and that's really handy because I'll probably just take this one out and not use it. I don't need the extra weight. I certainly don't need the extra reach. Um, 
Again, it's only got the padding on one leg and that removes for a monopod, should you want that. I never have. Um, but if I grab the other legs, they're carbon fiber. Now the weight of it is pretty comparable. My old one, I think was about 1.1, 1.2 kilos, something like that. I think this is just a couple of hundred grams heavier. Uh, but uh, of course, when I bought that, I could barely walk, whether I was carrying anything or not. So slightly less of an issue for me these days, luckily. Uh, so I've got no problem with the weight of it. One thing that would be a downside for me as a rule is that on the old tripod, I had the quick release clips on the legs and I like them. But I do know of plenty of people who've had problems with those because when a quick release clip breaks, uh, that's it, that leg then becomes useless because there's no way to secure it. So these screw adapters, a little bit more rugged. However, with this particular tripod, they actually don't have much of a turn to lock and unlock them. Uh, and that is quite handy because it's really irritating when you see a shot and you're getting set up and you're mucking about with your tripod. With that, you just unclip them, all the legs fly out. Easy peasy, uh, but the use I've had with this so far hasn't been too much of a problem. So very happy with that. Um, the ball head, now of course that is a big deal uh, with any tripod, is the quality of the ball head. Of course, they all come with three eighths or quarter 20 threads, so they're easily replaceable, but you're paying for the ball head as part of the price of the tripod, so you want something that's gonna do the job properly. Now. My old tripod has a little replacement ball head because uh, I wanted something that was lighter and I really like it. And I, I've used this so far uh, to be fair to K&F, but I will almost certainly swap the little uh, ball head over. Again, details of that on my website. Um, but this ball head, really very good. Nice smooth mechanism, no problem at all there. Um, I really like the damped effect uh, on the horizontal axis because that's quite nice when you're using it for a pano. Um, it is quite heavy though, uh, which is, is a good thing if you've got a big heavy camera on it. One thing that is a problem with ball heads though, of course, is that when you've got a big fat lens on it and you lock it down, as you let go, that lens can just drop slightly. And I've, many of my friends have complained of that sort of thing with their ball heads. Um, I've never had that problem uh, with my little ball head. So that, that's a big deal for me. But of course, I've only got a piddly little teeny tiny camera these days, so that doesn't matter too much. Uh, but when I first got that and the ball head was just like this one, um, I was using my Nikon APS-C system, the D5500, and sometimes I'd have a big chunky lens on and I never had a problem with it drooping just as you let it go. You lock it into place, you let go, and it stays exactly where you put it. I'm happy to report so far this is doing the same thing. Now, as I said, I only got a little camera, but I have got a relatively chunky pro lens. Uh, so I found that when I've been using this, it's been no problem at all. Uh, but hats off to K&F for, for a sub hundred pound uh, tripod in carbon fiber, great. And to be honest, if I get the same sort of lifespan out of it as I got out of my other one, I'll be absolutely delighted. And I'm sure that anybody who went out and paid good hard cash for a tripod, three sticks to hold your camera up, uh, you'd probably say, yeah, that's not bad value for money at all. Because um, even though it's at the cheaper end of the, bud oh, sorry, k &F, the budget end of the market, there's nothing wrong with them. They're really good. The legs will splay out. I can get it nice and low. I can get it nice and high. It weighs next to nothing. It's three sticks to hold your camera up. How can it go wrong? <laughs> Why pay more? So, that's it. Thank you ever so much for joining me. I hope you found it interesting. And if you did, why not subscribe now and join me next time. Cheers.